Hi, it's Alana. Welcome back to Yoga Yin. Thank you so much for joining us. Today I've got another full length fertility sequence for you. Students keep coming to me with fertility and I'm so happy to work with you because it gives me great pleasure to work with fertility students. This student today uh, that I put the sequence together for has a high FSH level, that is follicle stimulating hormone. So she is unable to go on IVF at the moment because of that high high level. So this sequence today is specifically to bring that level down. She also has a few things going on. Every student is different. Um, she's suffering from insomnia, which I think may be directly related. So we're going to work with calming her nervous system. She's also suffering from cold extremities, particularly in the feet and cold digestion. So she bloats and gets really uncomfortable when she eats raw foods or foods from the fridge. So we're going to work with warming that up for her as well. In addition to this, she's got a chronic lower back pain. So we're going to be very careful and mindful of that, but also try and release off that lower back. So I hope you enjoy. Uh, please keep your feedback coming. If you would like a personalized sequence of your own, please contact me on Facebook. Namaste. Hurry on. So when you're ready, I want you to come to your mat in a comfortable kneeling or seated position. So if you're not comfortable just kneeling like this, please come into Sukhasana, easy cross-legged, or just sit so that you're comfortable. What we're going to start off with today is a very special breathing technique called Ujjayi breath. This is often being compared to the sound Darth Vader makes that but basically what it does is it calms the nervous system and it warms the entire body. So it's very, very good for fertility. So what I want you to do is just relax and let your spine be nice and long. Tuck your chin in and just breathe normally for a few deep breaths. Feel the breath start to slow. Try and bring your breath down into the belly. Place a hand over the belly if that helps you. Let the belly be free. Feel the hand on the belly rising as you inhale and gently drawing back to the spine as you exhale. Good. Now as you breathe in, I want you to start to feel that breath come down the back of the throat. Open up the back of the palate and really start to feel the air as you inhale and exhale. So you're bringing some sound to the breath. Exhaling through the mouth. Inhaling. Exhaling. Another couple. So that sound you hear on the exhalation is the sound you want to hear inside your head when you inhale and exhale. Now we're going to inhale and exhale through the nose, but keep that sound going.
Two more. Good. I want you to keep this awareness throughout your whole practice and whenever you can, bring yourself back to this Ujjayi breath, which is going to keep that heat flowing through the body as you practice. Come into a cat pose. So hands underneath the shoulders and knees underneath the hips, opening out the body, Inner elbows turn toward one another. Inhaling, opening the throat. Exhaling and curling the spine. Just waking up the spine. And getting an idea of wherever any blockages are in the spine. Drop the head. Couple of rounds. Keep your jai breath flowing. And in cat, when we open up the throat, it's quite heating for the body as well. So that combined with the Ujjayi breath. is great. Now I want you to take your knees out a little bit wider because the reason that we're in cat is actually to practice sexy cat. And this is to work with the lower back and absolutely the pelvis. And just release off tension in that lower spine. Try not to move backwards and forwards as you do this. Try and keep that area nice and isolated. And then reverse those circles. So it's like you're drawing circles with the buttocks. Very, very good for lower back issues. And for warming up the uterus. Keep your jai breath flowing. And then come back to a neutral spine. And we're going to practice a pose called Tiger Pose. And this is really good for the lower back and it's also really good for warming up the body. So all of these warming sequences to get some heat through the digestion, through to the uterus. So when you're ready, I want you to inhale and bring your right knee to your right wrist and exhale and take it out behind you. Now I don't want you to lift it high, I want you to just keep it at hip level, toe pointed down, pushing out through the heel. Inhale now to the elbow and exhale and take it out behind you. Good. Inhale, come into the chin. Exhale, take it out behind you. Inhale to the nose and exhale, take it out. And finally, inhale. To the middle of the eyebrows and exhale take it out behind you hold it here and if it feels okay for you raise the opposite arm looking forward holding it here and if you'd like to come into the final pose take hold of the big toe index middle finger and thumb and hold it here And then release it, release the hand, release the knee. Now working to the other side. Inhale, bring the left knee in and exhale, take it out behind you. Good, inhale to the elbow, exhale, take it out. Inhale towards the chin, exhaling. Inhaling to the nose, and exhaling 
and then inhale to the middle of the eyebrows exhale take it out behind you hold it here and if you wish to release that arm do so looking straight ahead and if you wish to come into the full pose do so hold it here for another couple of deep breaths Remember your Ujjayi breath. And then release it. Bring your big toes together. Knees out to the side. Stretch out your arms. Lower your forehead. And just rest in Balasana, pose of a child. Extended arms. One more deep breath here. Let the belly just relax. Keep your breath flowing. And then when you're ready, look between your hands. Come into a downward dog. Up on the toes, spreading the fingers nice and wide, walking through the feet, lowering one heel at a time. Balancing the whole of the endocrine system. Inhale and exhale, sink your heels down, hold it here. Another three deep breaths. And then walk your hands to your feet. Gently release and circle from side to side. Come back to center and roll all the way up. Rolling all the way up, vertebrae by vertebrae. Paying attention to all of the spine, shoulders, neck and head are the last to come up. Beautiful. Roll the shoulders back and down. Come to the center of your mat. And I want you to just place your feet underneath your hips. Spread your toes. Soften it to your knees. Tuck your tailbone under. Roll the shoulders back and down. And then just tuck the chin into a nice Tadasana spine. Grounding down. Feel the weight in the feet. Now I want you to interlace the fingers and bring them into the heart and breathe into the heart. And then breathe in and exhale, push the hands away, drop the chin. Inhale, raise the arms up and over the head, palms facing towards the ceiling and exhale, drop the hands behind the head. Good. This sequence is really good for working into the liver and regulating the hormones. Excellent. When you're ready, I want you to reach up towards the ceiling and then we're going to gently just tilt over to our right, turn our head to look at the ceiling if that's comfortable for the neck or just looking straight ahead. Sequence also an excellent shoulder opener. And then inhale back to center, reach up. And exhale, release to the other side. Turning the head. Or just looking straight ahead. And then coming back up and releasing once more. We're gonna do that again. 
First to the right hand side. And then we're going to sweep that arm around behind us and we're going to open up the fingers and turn to look at the thumb. And then we're going to inhale, come all the way back, a little deeper, and then up, palms towards the ceiling, falling down to the other side. And circling the arm around, taking it back behind us, spreading the fingers nice and wide, turning to look at the thumb. And then inhale, come back, keep your breath flowing. Inhale, come back to centre. Reach up, take the hands behind the head, circle the elbows, just windmill them back. Squeeze the shoulder blades and then release the arms interlace them now behind your back and inhale here and exhale fall forward as far as is comfortable for you soften at your knees And then inhale, come all the way back out to centre, step your feet out. Right foot out, come into the centre of the back foot if that feels comfortable for you, otherwise just shift that back foot a little to where it feels comfortable. I want you to place your hands on your hips, turn to the centre, stretch out from the heart to the fingertips. Bend your knee so the knee is directly over the ankle. Drop your elbow down. Bring your hand to the hip. Twist your body up towards the ceiling. And then take that arm up and over. And if it's comfortable for you, come all the way down. If it's uncomfortable for your neck to look up, just turn to look straight ahead or down at the foot. It's more about working into a lateral pose into the liver meridian. And then inhale, look down. Exhale, come all the way to centre and swap over to the other side. <clears throat> Inhaling from the heart to the fingertips. Exhale, knee is directly over the ankle. Dropping down onto the elbow, hand on the hip, turn the chest towards the ceiling, arm up and over. Ujjayi breath flowing. And inhale, look down at the foot. Come all the way back up to centre. And then just release the arms. Step the feet back towards one another. Not worrying about your posture now, gently twisting. Keeping the arms nice and low. And twisting through the lower back, just close your eyes if you're comfortable. Slowly making your way back to a neutral pose. Bringing the tips of your thumbs and your forefingers together and placing them over the belly. 
Breathing into the belly, using your Ujjayi breath. Allow yourself a gentle smile. Close the eyes if you haven't already. Beautiful, float your eyes open when you're ready. So now we've worked with warming up the body, rebalancing the hormonal system and releasing the shoulders and the lower back. Now we're gonna come down to the mat and work with postures that are gonna help us calm down the nervous system. So coming down onto your mat, into Apanasana, Palms over the knees and just making circles on your lower spine. and reversing those circles. And then hugging the knees into the belly. Scrunch up your feet. Circle the feet, get the circulation and the blood flowing through the feet. Couple of deep breaths here. Keeping up with your Ujjayi breath, rolling over to your right hand side. Coming all the way up onto your mat. And we're going to come into a full forward bend. So if you find this pose difficult, I want you to take your pillow, place it underneath your buttocks. And if you wish to, you can use a strap and place it around your feet and gently pull yourself into this pose. Otherwise, just bend up your knees so you're not straining that lower back. When you're ready, inhale, raise the arms up towards the ceiling and exhale, fall forward, take hold wherever you're comfortable. Inhale from here and then exhale, Sink the body down. Two more deep breaths. And then inhale, reach up, come all the way out, and then lower down the arms. So Paschimottanasana 
is a full forward bend that starts to activate our parasympathetic nervous system. So just encouraging the body to relax, to prepare for sleep, to be able to digest food. So when you're ready, we're going to counterpose that forward bend, which is quite cooling for the body. Fingertips into the body, pointing the toes, and then just opening up the throat. Six deep breaths here. Inhale, coming back to centre and then coming all the way down to your mat. Beautiful. We're going to work with leg raises here, specifically very good for the lower back, but also very good for fertility. So I want you to take your strap, place it around the base of your right foot. Keep your left leg nice and strong, toe pointing up towards the ceiling. Keep that leg active and raise your leg towards you. Take a couple of deep breaths here. You can take the strap in both hands. And then inhale here and exhale, take your strap in your right hand, take your right leg out to the side and place your left hand over your left hip. One more deep breath. Keep your Ujjayi breath flowing, bring it back in. And now take the strap in your left hand, take the leg slightly over the body. But don't let this hip ride too far off the ground. Don't come all the way over. Working into the gallbladder. Beautiful. Come all the way back to center. And then release your right leg. Lay it down. Take a couple of deep breaths here. See if you can feel the difference in the two sides of the body. Working with the left leg now. Bringing it in towards the body, just make a note for yourself because one side is going to be easier, one side's going to be a little more challenging. Keeping that right leg active, toe pointed up to the ceiling. And then inhale and exhale. Take that left leg out to the side. Place your right hand over your right hip. One more deep breath here. And then inhale, come back to center. Take hold of that strap in the right hand. Take the left leg over the body. And inhale, come back and release your leg all the way down 
to the mat. Just take a couple of deep breaths here in Shavasana. Beautiful. And from here, we're going to come into Savangasana or shoulder stand. Now, shoulder stand is not appropriate for you if you've got your period and not appropriate if you have any eye issues or specific neck issues. But otherwise, if you're okay to practice, I want you to place your arms long beside your body. Palms facing down. And then inhale, bend up your knees. Roll your body up and just gently bend your knees here. And moving your elbows in towards one another. Your hands down closer to your shoulder blades. I want you to inhale here and then exhale Take your legs either halfway or all the way up to the ceiling. And we're going to hold this for 5 to 12 deep breaths. So for our purposes today, I'm just going to hold it for 5. But if you feel you can hold it for 12, please do. This is called the Queen of Yoga Postures. And it is excellent for insomnia and better sleep. One more breath. And then lower your legs, this time with the legs together all the way over the head. Or if that doesn't feel okay for you, just bend your knees again. Release your arms and gently roll all the way back down. And hug your knees into your belly. And then extend your legs all the way down to your mat. And take a few deep breaths in Shavasana to counterpose that shoulder stand. When you're ready, gently roll off to your right hand side. And we're going to finish, as always, with Viparita Karani, legs up the wall. So coming into this pose from the side. Taking the legs up nice and long. Taking a few deep breaths here. So this double inversion of a shoulder stand and then legs up the wall is just going to help the body encourage it to release and relax. Bring the hands to the belly. Keep working with your Ujjayi breath. And then for that lower back, take your legs out at hip distance. Bend your knees, place the soles of the feet against the wall. Inhale here and just exhale, press the feet into the wall. Inhale and release. Exhale and press the feet away. Good. And now when you're ready, I want you to inhale and then exhale, press the feet into the wall, press the lower back into the floor. 
Inhaling. Exhaling. Pressing the feet away, pressing the lower back. Two more. And then releasing the legs back up. Allowing your exhalation to gently start to extend. And as you do, let go. Breathing out, let go of your day and your week. All stresses and pressures. Body comfortable, cozy, and warm. And you can stay in this position for up to 10 minutes. Great one to practice just before you go to bed. Bending your knees. Gently rolling off to one side. Coming back to your mat if you're ready. So that is our fertility sequence for lowering um, the FSH levels. In there we've also worked with chronic lower back pain and just opening up the shoulders, releasing any stress or tension. Because when we tend to stress, and if you're having trouble sleeping, it's often about stress. We hold the stress in the upper body. So we've done a few postures to release off the upper body, but also to work into the liver and gallbladder meridians to balance the hormones as well. So I hope you enjoy it. Please keep your feedback coming. I love it. Namaste.